five fingers and five toes. Indicates that there are five channels of union with the Supreme. This is a sound which you will repeat that holy name. This is the light Next to thumb finger is this, the light. That is why at the base called Jupiter, Guru. And that light means discriminating understanding about the creation and to be conscious about your reality which God Himself, as well as to know the cause of every why, how, why, when, from your super consistent. Then this is a Tantra Yoga. It is a technique by which your sexual urge will be transformed into love urge and from love urge to light. Sex urge is called energy. Love urge is the carrier of that energy and towards the light all awareness. Next one is entirely devotion, what you call bhakti card. Bhakti card. So through devotion only you will find Him in everything. And next one is this is by way of your vibration. Of your inner being coming from lower chakra, Kundalini, raising the force of unification, the urge to the supreme consciousness. And these are the only five ways by which one can have union with God. A yoga means union. Union of the Self with its reality. Yoga means union with the Self, union of the Self with the Supreme Being. Yoga means union, union of the cons Conscience with the mind, then with the will, good will, with the body and actions. So coordination of wish and action. Yoga means union with the Creator as well as His creations. Then yoga means union in all aspects of life. Individual life, one should have union with his life and eternity, beyond life and death. In conjugal life, the union between the lover and the beloved. In family life, union of self, beloved, and the kiddies. Then the union in social life, family to family, 
family to family in all societies. He will work as a needle and thread to make a garden of all humanity and put it to your father. Then the other aspects of life, understanding and tolerance, mercy, then courage to fight against evil forces. Evil force is created by ego and self-centric sex, not love-centric sex. Ego plus self-centric sex creates evils, jealousies, anger, other passions, other kind of suspicions, doubts, darkness. These are the kingdom of evil. And those evils come to overpower the divine quality that you have. Your divine quality is that by which you become happy. You become happy by loving me or someone, or being loved by someone. That shows love is your own nature. You do not care for lies, but you are happy to know the truth. Truthfulness is your nature. Purity is your nature. That is your own nature. You need not to be pure, loving, truthful. That is your own nature. You are already pure, holy. Yoga means to make your life and its all tendencies and emotion turn towards that real nature so that you will feel one with the Divine or Divinity and thereby you will feel your enlightenment, means joy, expansion. Yoga means the feelings of full expansion, all-pervading love, all-pervading consciousness, all-pervading truth, all-pervading peace. And that is the quality of your father. That is the quality of the kingdom of heaven. And to have the communion of this life on this material world with the communion of that kingdom of heaven is the real job. Practical job. So the mental character and spiritual yoga, you will teach others and sometimes you may teach some physical yoga which is so through So combination of physical postures for the yoga, any yoga, there are four things. One is posture. In what posture you will seek to meditate? Sometimes lying posture and you meditate at the back, not here. In sitting posture you will meditate here. In walking posture you will meditate to repeat the holy name all over the body. You are the Radha Swami moving. When you are crossing with your beloved physical union, there also there is yoga. There is a yoga with the tea when it is going to be cold. So have tea and listen to me. <coughs> then, any religion, whether Hindu, 
Buddhism, Christianity, Buddhism, Muslim, Islam, or any kind. The main purpose of religion means to follow in one's life along with his environment the principles of life and growth, the principles of love and relationship, to enjoy all beauties, all qualities of life on this earth and beyond to embrace the Supreme on some particular with some particular faith in some particular mediator. But all the mediators who are genuine, not false or artificial, carry the same messages in different way according to different circumstances. The same messages of life, love, harmony, peace. So to bring peace in one's life, one has to accept a mediator. And blessed are those who can get a genuine living spiritual guide who not only teaches a technical yoga or gives some artificial teachings, but can energize the love in human life, can open the inner eyes to see can energize the inner Holy Spirit to work out, to overpower the evils for the genuine security of life. Blessed are those who are imparted the Holy Name, Holy Spirit, by any genuine master. Blessed are those who can carry this Holy Spirit to the life of others and can remain ever balanced, ever settled, ever established in that universal love and truth, to enjoy pure consciousness, pure happiness, being free from any kind of illusions or imprisonment of life. God, being passive, is a witnessing eye, observing His kingdom and His different forms, colors and qualities in different existence, observing how different existence, in their permutation, combination, attraction, repulsions are active. And what is new creation 
going on and how the law of creation, law of protection, laws of procreation, sorry, what? With the help of his own energy as universal mother nature. And he is omnipotent as the unifying arch called love, which makes one feel one. As omniscient, the universal light or truth, all understanding, as only present, as he is present in every electron, neutron, proton, in every vibration, in every existence, in every waves of his existence. He is omnipresent as Himself, at the background of all existence, as the medium of all existence, as every existence, in every existence, holding all in one and finding one that He Himself in all, you are being part of Him, carries the wholeness of His existence as omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient in Him. To be conscious of that is the state of your salvation beyond all ignorances, darkness, bondage, At that state, your little I, identified with your body, sex, or ego, or some particular talents, qualities, or instincts, merge into that greater being when you feel trance. The state of trance means merging of mind, ego and self-centric consciousness with the limitation of environment in eternity, the Supreme Consciousness and bigger I, which is the background of all existence holding all in one as the own being, the entire universe as one being. Not only this universe, the universe of all universe and how the universe are growing, expanding in eternity, in eternal space in unlimited space. And when time becomes un unlimited, he becomes omnipotent. When qualities and energies become unlimited, he becomes omnipotent. When varieties of existence helping the consciousness to understand their reality. Infinite existence, then he becomes omniscient in you. This is how you realize him, the Supreme, as your own reality beyond this body, mind, 
ego, you come to a state, to that state, that thou art, and to merge yourself into that state is your highest meditation, highest joy. Then to be conscious of your mortal life and how He is guiding you, dictating you through your conscience, judgment, to your mind. You are not carried by the mind. Mind is the combination of yourself and the environment. At that time, He become your Lord or Self, main Self and guiding yourself all through. Through you who will fulfilling others and through all fulfilling you. And everywhere there is a fulfillment, completion. <clears throat> and the feelings of this completion or fulfillment is the state of unfoldment of the self into plentifulness beyond limitation, and at that state of expansion you feel ānanda, supreme bliss. And that is the state. You have to establish yourself and carry other fellow selves. They are none but yourselves in other forms of quality bad or good. And bad is that which pulls you down from the state of your proper living, loving, proper relationship, proper joy of love, proper expansion. Sin is that by thinking or doing which one drops from love and gets into maya. One drops from life and runs after death. One drops from light and steps in darkness and feels within own heart and self contraction. Virtue or blessings in life are those by which one feel expansion in life. Expansion of personality to the life of others, expansion of love to flow to the other's life to help them, to grow, expansion of your understanding, intelligence and wisdom, exercising as a cultivator in the life of others to awaken them. Expansion means the tremendous will that always works and materializes your good wishes for others. Expansion means your feelings that you are not this particular body or self, you are everything. That consciousness, the everlasting consciousness, is your state of expansion. And that can never come if anything is done wrong. Anything you do, do for the good and fulfillment of others. Everything will be perfect. So be perfect in your thinking, 
Be perfect in your words, in behavior with others. How will you behave as a mother to your children or father to your children? How will you act as a wife or husband to each other? How will you work as a daughter? How will you work as a friend to others? With this proper relation and each responsibility discharging its duties perfectly. It's called behavior. Then perfection in your every action. How will you put the car parking? How will you put your shoe where? How will you clean your bath? And how will you clean your teeth? How will you go to bed? How will you walk, sit? How will you keep the things properly for proper utility towards your life and good? Every action will be perfect. Then you should know that by your own perfection you cannot be established yourself in perfection unless your environment, immediate environment are perfect. You cannot keep your body clean if there be terrible dust constantly coming on your body. So you have to clean your environment for the maintenance of your perfection. That is why you with your environment, when truly try to grow towards perfection, you feel yourself expanding. And that is the word of God, that be perfect and enjoy your expense by helping others to be perfect. As much as you will inspire others for love, the real love, not a love of temporal emotions, so much you will be achieving love in your being. As you give others, so you get. As you sow, so you reap. And this truth will be your guiding force. And faith, after this love, with this love, along with this love, there is a faith. Faith means full understanding about a thing. It's called faith. If you understand, if you have belief that here is the light, here is the love, here is my solution, here is my life, here is my guiding force, here is my ideal, and accepts it, follows it. By acceptance, by following, by knowing, you achieve consciously and unconsciously in your conscience, mind and heart, in your blood and flesh, a vibration which is called faith. That faith is perfect. As by your physical, your body, your breast, your body, your nature, your instincts, your everything, and telling those things with my understanding about a woman, yes, then I know, oh, she is it. About, like that about anybody, or about a master, or about God in spirit. You have got understanding in your conscience already. And by following, by opening him, by seeing, by behaving, by treating, by 
knowing you can know, yes, here is my beloved master, my beloved guide. That's called faith. And that faith remains as blood and flesh. That is why Christ said, take my blood, drink my blood, drink my means that, means take my spirit in your blood, take my nature, my my entire teachings, love in your place, so that your nerve, even if your evil mind sometimes try to do something, your nerve, your cell of the body will immediately deny love. So much determination with His Spirit in your life, you immediately transform into Me and My Spirit. So your container may be women, but in you, myself, all Holy Spirit. And that is the highest joy. 